everybody, it's the Crazy Fangirl Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today, we're going to be watching the third episode of Outlander. I apologize for the different setup. It's a little bit different, but I decided to do my work here because this is like where I edit all my work. So I thought it would be easier to just do it near the editing station. Um, but anyway, we're going to be jumping right into this episode of Outlander. I'm really excited to watch this as usual. Um, again, the last episode wasn't too bad. I actually liked it a little bit more than the first one. It's getting a little bit more interesting as it goes, so let's jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. Oh, the softness. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh. Now this reminds me of like season two, season three, Jamie and Claire. Quality content. I'm not gonna say goodbye. JB didn't even say bye to his daughter. That's that's a bit weird. Why didn't they put that in? You must cut that brand off of assassination. Thief takers in these parts. How do you do it? Maybe just for me. Now if it's a buy is in danger, I must ensure he's truly free of his past. Oh. Ah, be here. I love like the wait. I love kind of like the little throwbacks that is happening to the previous seasons, and especially because of the fact that, and this is something that I noticed last season as well. Like Jamie is so um, present with all the characters that are in this story, especially because he's always reflecting on what happened to him and is always worried about that happening to everybody else. Um, and we saw that big example with you know Brianna. Like obviously he found out that she got raped and stuff like that. Um, and then he wanted to take revenge on the person who raped her, who had accidentally thought it was Roger when in reality it wasn't. Um, so to see that he's just so present with these characters, even in this season, it's something I appreciate. And it's such a nice quality of Jamie. Um, and that's something I find really, really nice. It's way too quiet. Oh, Jesus! Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Jesus, her face in the frickin' window. Oh, I knew something was gonna happen. I've watched too many horror movies and I've played too many horror games. When just silence comes, it's like, you know something's gonna happen. Why you keep- First rule! Why do you separate yourself from the weapon? That was a fuck- that was a fucking weird thing. I don't like that. When she just looked back. That's something you see in a horror movie. Or a horror game, like Resident Evil. Ugh, that's nasty. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Whoever filmed this episode, good job with the horror aspect. You should film a horror movie or TV show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my heart. He's alive? God damn. His foot is just completely... Yeah. <gasps> oh, God! Wait, what? She's pregnant?! Oh, they're doing the aftermath? That's amazing! Okay, it's not that easy, but <laughs> just quickly stopping. Um, that's. I've never seen a show do that because with T. And I've studied like health and human development in high school and I, I still try and like keep up with it because it's just so interesting. But for a TV show to show the. Well, not show it, but you know, touch on the afterbirth, I've never seen a show do that. And especially with. Um, Outlander, they never did this in the first few seasons, which is perfectly okay because it's TV. But the fact that they did it, I'm actually really happy because, you know, even I, like, I remember studying it and they're like, oh, there's the afterbirth. I was like, what the frick is the afterbirth? And then they said, you know, that's the placenta coming out and, you know, like, they either keep it or, like, in some cultures, some of them do eat it after it's cleaned and stuff like that because apparently there's so many nutrients and stuff like that. But, um, oh, that's amazing. Like, that makes me really happy. Oh, okay, sorry. Back to the show. Hear that, you old bastard? She isn't yours. Your this is his first wife. 
There he almost is fourth. Oh, he's fifth. Jesus Christ. He killed them all, you know. He would have killed me too. None of us could give him a baby. You want a mother now? Yeah. You have more important things to do than worry about him. Having a baby. was called Francis. And your name is Sassenach. <laughs> I need to my husband. It's a special nickname. <laughs> Boy, it's easier to grow up in Jamie's time, but for a... pause it. For a woman, it's so hard, and we've seen this through all the seasons. There are so many amazing women characters in these series that um, we've seen just go through so much crap. Um, you see that in season one with so many of the characters. Season two, especially in France, we see so many people, especially the women, again. Just get treated so badly, especially that girl who got raped. What's her name? Mary, I think that's her name. I can't remember, but that I remember she got raped, and then we had to, and then we saw her again and see. Oh yeah, later in that season as well, we saw her. Um, but oh, yeah, it, it's a it's hard again because you know Roger wants to go back, but Brianna wants to stay, but now Claire wants them to go back because obviously um, she wants their grandchild to be safe and now obviously Jamie will feel conflicted as well because he wants his daughter near because again we saw that in the first episode that he he said like I have to let you go even though we've had some so less of time like it wasn't exactly that it was more better worded than I put it but you know he said that to Brianna and it's so sad because it's so true because Jamie has had so little time with Brianna and then he had to you know marry her to Roger it's so sad because you know that's like such a big again i spoke about this in the first episode it's such a big deal for a father to give the daughter away because you know they've watched that girl little little baby girl what like grow up from a baby obviously to a woman so it's such a big transition and then to obviously move on to have a husband of her own and her own children it's such a big deal so for jamie he has had to miss out on everything until you know she's obviously a woman came to see him blah 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 and then obviously so much stuff happened to her and then he had to you know go through seeing her in such a dark time and yes we saw some beautiful chemistry between them but at the same time you know they had that bit of a bad stretch and again I'm kind of annoyed that we didn't see that character development of them kind of coming closer together again after season um four um so that's a little bit of a miss that they like a missed opportunity they missed at the very beginning of episode one they could have done that um but anyway back to this um I think Jamie's gonna feel really conflicted because you know it's really hard because again that's his daughter but also his grandson so tricky topic Oh, oh, Jamie, bless! They would be safer in your time. But they would be without their family. Well, it's a risk anyway, wherever they are. What are you doing? Where'd she go? Oh, they're so cute. God damn, I have to keep pausing because my mum had to go outside. She's doing her little hobby, which is gardening, so hopefully she doesn't come back for the next one. What are you doing? Please don't kill him with the cross. That's a bit extreme. Okay. Cool. Let him 
rock. You're shooting him? <laughs> Why? Me that she does, okay. Whew, what an episode! I'll definitely say that I actually enjoyed this episode a lot. There was it was just very intriguing overall. I'm trying to remember what happened at the beginning of the episode because after that, I was just so intrigued with what who this woman was and what was going on um, that I just completely forgot about the rest of the plot. Um, let me go back quickly and just have a look. Oh, okay, now I remember we had those. Sweet, sweet moments at the very beginning between Claire and Jamie. It kind of reminded me of when um, Jamie was kind of, you know, he says the prayer and he's keeping track of, you know, if she's having her period or not. And I think she was pregnant when he did this. And, you know, he says a prayer to the Lord and says, my, I think he calls her my dove or something like that. And, you know, he keeps like touching her stomach and she wakes up and she's like, oh, what were you saying? And he's like, it's, it's nothing. But then later he's like, it was, I said that because it was, you were pregnant. Oh, it just, it just brought back that memory of like the Jamie and Claire that I remember and fell in love with. Like they're sweet, really tender moments. We did see that last season a little bit but we didn't see a lot of it so i'm glad we got that it just oh that so many feelings oh my god okay one thing i didn't like was that jamie didn't say goodbye to brianna i'm not sure why because even if bonnet is back that doesn't stop you from saying goodbye to your daughter mate um <laughs> but also even brianna i don't really understand why she didn't you know say bye like that's a bit weird and I felt a little bit weird like that's your daughter why and you know apparently they have such a good relationship now why are you not saying bye so that was a little bit weird yeah Jamie and Claire were so cute this episode again just like so much like you know it just reminds you of how much trust has been built between these two and especially like just even in camaraderie as like a couple like in this time of like you know getting ready for a battle and stuff like that they they're very good at it now and they've become experts at it and um you know just looking after those you know those two boys like you can see just how caring they are and how understanding they are and like they're willing to listen to them so that's something that's a really good quality and again jamie you know being really understanding about the fact that you know there are so many people who um he doesn't want the suffering that he went through to happen to them and he wants to protect them and that's a beautiful beautiful quality of his that i love and i've always loved about him throughout the whole series um so i'm so like happy that that's kind of been brought back again in this episode i really really like that and i hope we get to see more of that during the rest of the season and uh, that whole thing with the cabin and just that woman freaked me out because like that's just every horror movie <sighs> like dude whoever i need to check who directed it because this episode was very good in terms of horror and whoever it is they need to do more horror stuff in tv shows because whoa that was scary and just that whole story with that that you know the, the old man with five wives jesus christ and then you know that woman was a little bit weird at the beginning like obviously it's kind of understandable because she was hostile because you know she's worried about you know what other people will do and stuff like that because she's been through so much abuse but still she was freaking weird and and in, in a sense like it's understandable because he obviously was a really bad man and you know though we didn't get to see how bad he was in a way i'm glad we didn't get any like flashbacks of him being abusive or anything it just gives us a sense of how evil he was especially that last part where you know jamie's like do you want me to put you out of your misery and he's like yes but then he's like will you ask for forgiveness and he's like no so that just kind of just shows how 
um dark this man was in like what in whatever sense that like he found it okay to abuse his wives and find it okay just because they couldn't have his child like that's messed up and just also like that just like without even like giving us so much exposition that's beautiful writing right there and that's something i really really like about this episode i do like how the woman obviously became a little bit more um more like open towards jamie and claimy Jamie and Clary oh god Clamy oh what the hell is going on with me but Jamie and Claire after she gave the birth again after birth so happy they did that even though they didn't show it it still is so nice that they like obviously talked about it you know even though I'm not someone who has had a child yet I'm like every time I watch TV I'm like there's no afterbirth, okay, because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a, like a, it's a human, like, not a human thing, but like a womanly thing to go through, you know, like that whole process. So the fact that, like, TV doesn't really touch upon it, especially medieval things, like, especially Outlander or even some, like, other shows that take, po like, place in, like, um, like, for example, the 18th century or something like that, nothing ever touches it. And the fact that they did in this episode is something I really respect. So thank you for doing that, Outlander. I really appreciate it. Um, I think, yeah, again, going back to, um, Frances, she, she was actually quite lovely. And I think she's quite misunderstood. And I think she's just, you know, she's gone through a lot. And, you know, I think she just wants some freedom for herself which is why she was saying she wasn't ready to be a mum even though you know a beautiful line they put in there you know just because I gave birth you know maybe once you actually name the child you might feel like a mother because you know some mothers feel like do you feel like that you know they don't feel like they're ready to be a mum or if they are a mum until you know sometimes like it depends um but it was it's quite sad though her situation and in a way I'm not too angry at her for leaving the baby behind, but I think it's such a good thing on her part as a character because, and even just as a human being, like I think people who have had children and perhaps have given them up may relate to it. Um, I mean, that must be such a huge decision, but the fact that she made the decision to leave her the, the baby behind, knowing that she wouldn't be a good mum instead of giving her a bad life is something I, in a way that I kind of respect even though a lot of people would be like you know it's her responsibility as a mother like she should be this she should be that it's like no you don't understand because you're not in that situation the only person who can understand is the man and the woman in a relationship but obviously the man isn't there but the fact that she's in that situation it's her choice so in a way i kind of respect what she did it may give more story to jamie and clary claire Ugh. i keep saying clary what the hell claire but um yeah I'm, i i wonder what happened to her though francis i hope that like i'm not sure if we see her again in the show or if she comes up again in the books you can let me know not too many spoilers please but if she does come back just give me a thumbs up and let me know but yeah that'll be interesting she's she seemed like a really interesting character and i hope that like we get more characters that are more like kind of like that like more um in depth and just have so much like depth to them because she like at the beginning i just thought she was a bitch in all honesty and then she was just like telling the back off but she had so much more to her you know like she was being abused other than that like i was kind of feeling like she may have been like hostile because something was up um which is understandable but at the same time that's quite heavy what happened to her i hope nothing happens to that baby i hope they can find like someone who can look after that child um because i'm not really sure how that's going to work with the rest of the story but we may find out later um but yeah again overall i thoroughly enjoyed this episode i actually really really enjoyed it so far i think this is my favorite episode it was so well written such great characters and just so many great character moments beside the brianna one between jamie and claire I think they were beautiful and I think I really want to just see more of that. If there's more of that, I'm going to enjoy the show. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Outlander. I really, really, really enjoyed this. It was such a great episode again. So many amazing moments. And I really, really hope we get to see more like this. Obvi obviously, episode four is coming out next week, I'm pretty sure. Not yet. Episode four hasn't come out, I'm pretty sure. You guys can correct me on that, but I haven't seen anything about episode four. So I think I'm up to date, hopefully. If not, I have to check. But anyway, 
Whew, this was a great episode. And I actually, yeah, I want more now. Like, this is the feeling I want from Outlander because this is the feeling I had last time. Like, with the other two episodes, I was like, eh, they're all right. Like, the Stephen Bonnet stuff was, like, pretty okay. But that that was kind of, like, the end. Like, oh, I want to find out more. But um, the other stuff I wasn't really too interested in. But this was a really, really good episode and re kind of reeled me back in into what Outlander is. So I hope we get more episodes like this. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!